This bill safeguards children who struggle with a mental health disorder known as pediatric gender dysphoria. The common course is for most young children to outgrow conflicting gender identity by adulthood. As a parent and a former teenager myself, I know firsthand that permanent life-altering decisions may seem rational, very rational, in the mind of a 15-year-old, but not so much in the mind of an adult with a fully formed frontal lobe and the cognitive ability to finally understand the permanence of one's actions. Unfortunately, I think what you heard from the previous speaker was a lot of disinformation. The truth of the matter is that you are not protecting children by passing this bill. You are inflicting harm. You are inflicting harm on the children of Georgia by voting for this bill. Now, what's the impetus for this? We know that this is a bill that polls with 80% favorability in Republican districts. That's heartbreaking to me. How many times do we come to this floor and hear the good word about loving your neighbor? I've been taught that you know a tree by its fruit. It doesn't matter what the intent is. What matters is the effect, the outcome. So many people who understand this issue know that it will cause harm. We are telling you that it will cause harm. But if you pass this bill, know that it is not to protect the children. Know that you are passing this bill in your political self-interest to rile up your base. Don't deceive yourself on this bill. It's heartbreaking, heartbreaking. We have the ability in this body to do so much good. We, we found common ground and we've moved this state forward on so many issues. We don't need this far-right culture war to continue to divide us. Why are we attacking one another? Why are we attacking the most vulnerable among us? We are better than this. We owe it to the next generation to do better than this. The evidence is clear. The science is clear. Politicians should not be substituting their personal opinion for that of doctors for that of peer-reviewed studies when it comes to this issue. So I strongly urge you to vote no to SB 140. Vote no to protect the lives of some of the most vulnerable citizens in your state who you are commanded to love. Love is dead without deeds. I hope that each of my members demonstrate their true faith by demonstrating love to their neighbors, love to those that you may not understand, and vote no to this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield the well.